those strategies can be used for all three content areas. So um, even though I focused on this holding, this fourfold strategy for science words, you can use this with math words and with reading words. Um, and so the purpose of this fourfold is that you can look at a whole category at one time. So if I did all cloud names and then I did the definition in the picture of clouds, I can just look at one part or two parts at a time. And so it kind of like categorizes the vocabulary. So you're welcome to take paper, but this is a strategy that works the whole entire year with any content area. And so that might be something helpful to practice at home. And of course, we always have resources too and other models. Um, and that list over there is um, science words from the entire county. And I can post this information too, but, um, and I do have more words in this, but it's all seven topics that I teach within our four main units. And here's the fourfold vocabulary information that goes here. And then there's three websites as well. So the websites have videos and um, the videos really highlight the vocabulary and the words kind of pop out. So the, it's content and vocabulary that really works together. And then Quizlet is a website that has flashcards and games. And so I have my own Quizlet list that are even more extensive than these. So that information is here as well. Um, over here, this one is, um, it's more of an extension and kind of just how, how you can keep off the science at home. But um, focusing on science inquiry and um, into the activities that you do at home. It's just a great way for the kids to really get excited. So these videos from it's from ABC 11, actually the local news, but it's through JASF, which is a pharmaceutical company, and so they do kids videos and activities and lessons, and they have all the materials you need. Everything's listed there, so you can kind of do some fun stuff. It's really good for like snow days and weekends and vacation. But any of that where you can apply this vocabulary is awesome because it gets the kids to really make those connections. Um, and the last thing that I have, in case you want it, you don't need it. But it's just a really quick overview of our four science units. And this information um, has some links that I can attach digitally as well. But that kind of helps to, and it pulls up more of a heaven too, helps to see what you can do at home online. Um, so this is all just a, a good overview for science. But the thing we're really focusing on is vocabulary because we can do that all year in every single subject. And so that helps prepare us for the EOG, the test at the end of the year, because it is their first science one. And um, just focusing on this vocabulary is really a big, a big support for us. So, and I can talk to you more about this as well, but Ms. Soigner um, can talk about that. Okay. Or Ms. Okay. Studying the rainforest, and you know, it'd be helpful to have some books. If you guys go to the library, you know, you can check out some books on the rainforest, and I can make connections. It'll help to expand our vocabulary. Um, I so I I just kind of made a little packet here of the strategies that we use in class um, when the kids are learning new words or when they come to a word that they don't know. Um, one thing is the first thing is using context to determine the meaning of a word of an unknown word. So I always tell them to read a little bit before the word that they don't know, a little bit after, and really try to think about what's happening in the story, if it's a story, what's happening in the story, how the characters are feeling, to help them to figure out what that word means. Um, a dictionary, of course. And then the other thing that we're doing is we're breaking up words into root prefixes and suffixes. Um, so we are doing that in our, in our EO class and in, in um, the all the office practicing it. Um, so, and I try to get them instead of giving the definition of the words to justify the meaning of the word when they do this. So they're saying why the word means what it means. So, like for example, um, contra means against, dict means to say, and shun means act of. So they state all the things that they know. I know contra means against, dict means to say. I also know that the act of doing something. I'm sorry, my eyes are like really foggy right now. I also know that shun is the act of doing something. Therefore, contradiction is the act of going against what was said. So just kind of justifying why it means what it means. Um, there, these are just some resources of places where they can get um, the meaning from all of these word parts. Um, they're also posted on Google Classroom. And I have like a hard copy of some here that you're welcome to take. Um, 
you. And then one other thing, um, just like a, an interesting fact that um, we might not always think about is that research has been done that, um, that says that children need um, 4 to 14 exposures of a word before they actually master it. So just, you know, just them writing down the definition of the word is not going to give them mastery of that word. They need to practice using it in their speaking and in their writing. Um, this activity here just gives them different ways to represent the word. Um, and then they can place them here where they can put it in their home language if that is, you know, if that's appropriate. Um, so just, you know, just some other ideas and things that you can do at home to, um, to you know, get for the kids to gain mastery of any vocabulary word. Um, there are some extra of those sports right there that came up the next slide and then there's a little example there. I do have a fourth grade list and um, and sixth and seventh grade, you know, just like if you want a more challenge or if you, and th these fourth grade words, and I'm telling you that a lot of our fifth graders probably do not know them, like they're still hard, so don't be afraid to take one of those. <laughs> um, and then this is another quick idea for a, a little game that they can play and make it themselves with the words and the definitions. I would just put a word on the on one definition on one. It's like a memory game. Let's see if I can get it because I got it before. No, it's this one here. <laughs> so they just try to match the word to the definition. That might be fun for them to make and to play. And it would be really hard to play this memory because you can just be so many cards, but you can do a matching game with this. And once they've matched it up, you have your little cheat sheet and you can check to see if they've matched them all correctly. And then you can mix them up again or pull the ones that they had trouble with and do those over and over and try to get them to really remember that. So um, we also use Foursquare sometimes in mathematic, mathematical terms where they can actually draw something that helps them remember what it means in math. So the Foursquare that look right behind you would be great for um, for some math terms too, especially when they get into geometry and they're having to remember a lot of those words that have to do with um, polygons. So um, you're welcome to take a baggie. I've got the words and I've got your cheat sheet inside here. Plus, if you can find your child's favorite color, maybe. <laughs> And I just put out a couple samples of what the states have been doing that to show that we use a lot of language in the math and that they have to have terms to be able to describe what they're doing. So that's why we're doing and one reason it's so important. And I'll be having a parent math class soon, probably after Thanksgiving. Um, and I don't know if everybody knows that. Are you on class now? Do you 
Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. um, because I send out um, a notice when I'm going to a parent math class, you're welcome to come. There's no stress. I don't like getting a test or anything. <laughs> but I just get to show you some of the strategies that we're using since math has changed. A lot of the ways that they're doing it might be home and look odd to you, so I don't want you to feel comfortable with that. Yes, last night there's anything in the There are a bunch of index cards and bags oh, over yeah. here if you want to take um, if you want to take anything. And this is the, the easier one, then there's a more challenging one too. But, and again, games, computers, makes it fun. Yeah, they like computers, but not this one. Right. That's awesome.